Hello there. As many of my close friends and family know, I have always wanted to be a published author. It has literally been a dream of mine since as long as I can remember, since I was a child. And while I have yet to achieve that goal, I have made a solid attempt a few times with some short stories and a couple of novels. Why am I telling you this? Well, I feel like I've taken a detour from my goal over the years, especially since 2020. While my husband and I were in Iceland recently for a anniversary trip, I did some soul searching and I realized I needed to make some changes or I was never going to achieve my goal. Between my full-time job and making craft videos for this YouTube channel, which I love, don't get me wrong, I find it really hard to find any time to write. And while I was away, I realized that I needed to find a way to incorporate that into my life before I inevitably maybe regret it. However, saying that, I do not want to abandon this YouTube channel. So I'm trying to figure out a way how I can incorporate both things into my life. This year, I'm going to do the National Novel Writing Month Challenge and share the experience with you. Understandable if this is not in your wheelhouse and you're not interested. I will not begrudge you from not sticking around and watching any of this. I'm doing this for me and hopefully it will benefit somebody else who's interested in doing the same thing. But what about the craft videos you might be asking? Well, I have not abandoned them. I still very much love crafting. I love figuring out how to make things. I like making things. But how do I kind of incorporate that in as well while I'm trying to write a book? I do feel like I've been a bit of a leaf on the wind with my craft channel just floating around without any kind of direction and not really sure where I'm going to land. I definitely do not feel like I'm done making craft videos, but I do have a few ideas of how I can incorporate them into this writing challenge that I'm doing. So I hope you stick around to find out. Also, I am the most indecisive person that I know, so I'm sure I will be doing craft videos again in the future. You might be asking, what is National Novel Writing Month? You've probably seen it written as NaNoWrite Month. It happens every November and it's a great way to challenge yourself to write, basically forcing yourself to write. Well, you can set your own goals for how many words you'd like to write in the month or what you'd like to achieve with your writing in that month. The typical challenge is 50,000 words. For reference, a novel is close to 100,000 words, usually around 90 to 100,000 words. And in order to achieve my goal, I need to write 1,667 words a day during the month of November to write 50,000 words in that month. As you can imagine, it is really difficult for someone to do that and also do anything else. <laughs> like anything else. If you're interested in this, NaNoWriMo Month is a nonprofit organization whose goal is to bring creative writing to libraries, schools, and communities around the globe. If you're interested, I will post their link down below. Anyone can join and it's free. You just need to sign up on their website. Leading up to November, NaNoWrite has scheduled planning weeks and information sessions to help you come up with a storyline and plot out your book and manage your time. I am currently a little behind because I decided to join the challenge a little bit late. However, I usually have some story idea that I am working on in the background. So I, at least I have that covered. What can you expect from me? Over the next few weeks, I'll be posting videos about my journey and what I'm working on. I am super nervous because this is a change and writing 50,000 words in a single month is quite daunting. Plus recording videos and editing on top of writing around 1700 words a day is a little bit insane. So there's a good chance that I might fail. Crash and burn. And you'll be able to watch. Next week, I'll be working on world building for my story, and I think a map would help me visualize what I'm working on. So if that's something you're interested in, I will be posting a video on that. Thanks for watching. My name is Pam, and this is... And now for something completely different. What he said. Bye.